Today we're going to be talking about a wireless, less supported, focus assist, device recording monitor for only $200. So over the last few months, I've been experimenting with different monitors. I've had monitors like the Blackmagic 12G Video Assist, the Feel World monitors, and I've also had the Small HD Focus 5 monitor. Now while all of those monitors were awesome, I still found myself not using them as much as I felt like I should. Now the last monitor that I had was the Blackmagic 12G Video Assist, which I've done a video on, which you can see right above me. Now surprisingly, after using all of those monitors, I found that I loved using the Raven Eye the most out of all of the monitors that were offered. So without further ado, we're gonna be jumping into six reasons why I think that this is the best budget monitor that you can buy on the market right now. Now, a few disclosures before we get started. DJI did not send me this device. I paid for this with my own money. Now, with that being said, for you guys watching, you do not need to have a Ronin to operate this device. And so let's dive into our first topic, which is portability. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did make a video about the 12G video assist. Now, the biggest thing that I did not like about that monitor is that it added so much bulk to my camera. With the Raven Eye system, the only thing that you need is your phone, which you already have carrying around with you, and then you need the Raven Eye transmitter, which will attach to the camera itself. So carrying around just those two devices, you probably now have the world's smallest video monitor. All right guys, so for our next topic, I'm gonna be shooting outside so that I can demonstrate exactly what I mean by zebras. Now zebras are especially helpful whenever you're shooting S-Log3, Canon C-Log, or any other flat profile, even like Blackmagic RAW. Now in my experience, I've had a lot of issues trying to grade S-Log3 whenever it's overexposed. So having zebras available for knowing exactly what is overexposed is extremely helpful. So to give you guys an example, I have my screen right here and I'm going to turn on zebras right over here, just like that. And you can see right over here, we're very highlighted, but that's okay because my face is properly exposed. So to give you guys more of an extreme example to show you what would not be okay, we're going to take our ISO and we're going to crank it all the way up. And there you can see like that would be very, very bad. So I'm gonna take it back down, even something like that. That is a lot better because I don't have as many zebras as I did whenever I first started shooting this video. So having zebras on the camera is extremely helpful. Now diving into our third topic, we have focus assist. Now many times whenever I use an external monitor when recording, I find myself using a clean HDMI output. Now what this allows me to do is see the image as big as I can on my monitoring device. Now whenever you use the clean HDMI out signal on a camera, you're not able to see where the focus box is on the monitor. So having something like the focus assist is super helpful because I can see exactly wherever the camera is choosing to focus on to make sure that everything is in focus like I want it to be. Now moving on to number four, we have wireless. Being able to monitor my camera for my phone has come in handy more times than you would think. Now recently, I've been shooting commercials for an ER, and one of the things that I was able to do is hand the director my iPad so that he can see exactly what I'm getting whenever I'm shooting in real time. Now another situation is where I'm able to sit my phone in a secure location and then point the camera at the car and using the Ronin, I can draw a box around whatever I want to track and drive slowly in the empty parking lot to get very smooth shots. Having this wireless monitor is super helpful. Without having this, you may need three or four people to get the same exact shot. Now the last application that I have really enjoyed using this wireless monitor with is being able to see exactly what is on my camera screen as I'm sitting in a different location. Now with this, I have the clean HDMI output turned off so that I can see all the information on the screen to make sure that I am still recording as I'm sitting somewhere else. Now with this monitor, you're able to do your own LUTs. So what this means is that if you're shooting in something like S-Log or Canon C-Log or maybe Blackmagic RAW, you have these flat profiles. Now whenever you're using your phone, your iPad, a computer, whatever it is, you can preview exactly what the finished product may be if you already have a LUT made for that shot. Now with that being said, you don't have to have your own LUT. They actually include a bunch of LUTs that are super helpful for converting those S-Log or those Canon C-Log footage into something that you can monitor with while you're shooting. Now that's a huge feature and you really don't find that on monitors under $200. And now that brings us to our last topic, which is that you can record onto your device 
whenever using the Raven Eye. So what I mean by that is if you're using your phone, whenever you press the record phone button on a screen, you then get a local copy of whatever you're recording on screen straight onto your device. Now this is extremely helpful for whenever you're shooting for someone else and you wanna shoot them a quick clip to make sure you're either getting the right thing you're supposed to be shooting or you're wanting to get a client very excited, well then you can shoot them that raw clip so that they can get excited about the project that you're working on for them. So you get all these amazing features in this $200 monitoring system that I think you really can't find in anything else for this price. Now, if you're thinking about buying this device, I would really appreciate if you guys use the link below in the description as that is an affiliate link that helps this channel grow whenever you click it. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. I would be happy to answer all your questions about this device. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.